My name is Scott Corchin. I am Special K. I do consider myself an entertainer as far as dancing. I am also a DJ, live event host, and you know, most passionately right now is my radio career as an on-air personality. I think the first time that uh, I knew I was going to be in some sort of entertainment business is I was um, told I would be eight years old and, uh, at my brother's bar mitzvah. He was a, he's a dancer and a performer, and uh, of course I wanted to be like my older brother. And he always had like the cute girlfriends there. And I was a little eight year old, just wanted to impress everybody. So dancing out on the floor, shirt unbuttoned, <laughs> sleeves rolled up. Didn't know what I was doing, but I was having fun. With I started as a dancer and then I ended up working for a, a mobile entertainment company doing all kinds of private parties so it incorporated being in front of people as well as uh, dancing and talking on the microphone and, and then that's where I really knew that and some sort of entertainment was going to be me. Then uh, someone handed me a microphone one day and I never put it down, I held on to it. There's nothing like dropping a song and then seeing everybody's hands go up, people cheering, people smiling, you know, having fun with the people around them. And that's what it's about, that reaction that takes someone back to a time where they're like, oh my God, I remember listening to this song and instantly they want to put their hands up. <laughs> it brings them into my world and brings uh, the real life situation going on into an emotional situation. Take that. And as far as being a radio personality, the key word there is personality. If you're not being yourself and people aren't relating to you, there's it's nothing. You're just wallpaper and you want to stand out from that. No, 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 it's a bad idea. I'm getting yelled at over text. You can tell because it's all in capital. <laughs> That's okay, I wanted those tickets! There's a lot of preparation going into a radio show. A lot of people think it's like you go in for four hours, you talk, you do your thing, and you leave. It's not the case. I wish it was, because that means I get paid a whole lot more for less work. There's a lot of thought process that goes through any topics you do or any things you're going to bring up and talk about. You want to, one, talk about them intelligently, but also relate them to people's life. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. He's on fire. He's on fire. to think that every time I do something, I demand greatness by knowing that I couldn't have done it any better. To me, that's what it's all about. Taking something you love and doing it to the best of your ability no matter what. You gotta just go for things. You gotta go for what you believe you need to do in the moment, at that time, to create emotion and passion. But people were bumping into my arm. And you weren't part of the, the area where I went crowd surfing, were you? I got the hell out of there. Okay, good. No, <laughs> yeah, because that would have felt really, really bad. As far as getting to the next level of anything I'm doing is surrounding myself with good people. People that aren't going to bring you down. People that are positive. People that will challenge you to do better every time. Once you get that, you have to remember that there's going to be somebody behind you looking at you the same way and knowing that you have to be that person that is positive around somebody else. Well, I never really know where I want to be, but I always know that wherever I'm going to be, I'm going to be happy. You didn't know I was so deep, did you? <laughs>